Welcome to this tutorial. I'm going to show how I use clipping mask when I am designing my bookmarks. So I go ahead and I create the shape, which is a rectangle, and I size it to the size that I usually do my bookmarks. So you'll see me doing that over here in the properties panel that comes from the side. So then I go ahead and I move that and I line it up with my other bookmarks. As you see, I already started designing some bookmarks. Um, I'm just adding a few more. So once I get that rectangle where it's supposed to be, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab my artwork that I want to use for that bookmark. So I just dragged it in from my photos or my explorer, whatever the thing is called. And um, I'm going to resize it. And I'm going to move it um, on top of that shape that I just created. So here I am just placing it where I want it to be. And then you press confirm. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to create clipping mask. And then once I have that clipping mask, I'm going to adjust that as well. But as you see with the clipping mask, the clipping mask allows for the artwork that you put on top of that shape to only show up in that shape. So as you saw, her, the half of her body is not in there and the hair either. Um, so yeah, once I did that, I went ahead and I'm going to duplicate that and I'm going to make a second bookmark. So I'm going to turn that to a 90 degree angle and move that down um, under the rest of my bookmarks. I like to fit as many bookmarks as I can on a page. So here I am trying to fit six bookmarks on this sheet. So I'm going to duplicate that rectangle twice and I'm going to move that under it and I'm going to rearrange it so that I can fit both of these bookmarks in that small white space there. Like I said, I like to maximize my space. I want to make sure that I can fit six bookmarks up here comfortably. So here I am just adjusting it and I get a little OCD with the adjusting, but you know, do it as you please. So once I have that already set up, I'm going to move it a tad bit more up to the top of it so that it's closer to the bookmarks on the top. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to grab another piece of artwork that I created. Um, the artwork that I'm adding in is available on my website, Shameless Plug. Um, her name is Soul Food. So I add Soul Food and I'm going to turn her to a 90 degree angle as well. And I'm going to do that clipping mask effect one more time on top of that top rectangle that I created. So you're going to see me go over to the layers panel. I'm going to right click, bring up that menu, create clipping mask. And as you see, it's showing a weird part of the um, image. So I'm going to move it and adjust it to where I want it to be. And boom, we now have another bookmark. And of, of course, I'm still going to keep adjusting because why not? So yeah, we're getting that done. And then we're going to go ahead and prepare our bookmarks for printing. So now I'm going to go ahead and prepare my bookmark for printing. So one thing I did off camera is I took my image, which is the artwork. And then I took the rectangle, which is a layer under it, and I grouped them together. And now I am duplicating those groups. So I'm using the first bookmark as the bookmark that we're going to print and I duplicated it three times. So you have the original Smokey, Smokey 2, Smokey 3, and Smokey 4. So I just arranged them so that they're in order. So I'm going to take all of my Smokies and I move them to the very top and I'm locking the ones that I'm not touching because I don't want to make a mistake and move them when I'm not trying to. So all I did here was hold shift on my keyboard and slide that entire second group over into the spot where that other bookmark was. And I'm gonna do that three times until they're all in that top row as you see. So then the fourth time, I'm gonna move that last Smokey 4 right on top of the I'm a Masterpiece bookmark. And it doesn't matter that I'm a Masterpiece is showing right now because I'm gonna turn it off. You'll see me hide that one. There we go. And if you don't know, you can hide things by pressing that I. Disclaimer, if you hear my dog snoring in the background, mind your business, you don't hear anything. This isn't one of those stuffy teacher tutorials. I am an artist and I'm just showing my process. I'm not trying to be a perfect teacher. So I hope that you guys are understanding and getting what I'm trying to show. But anyway, let's move on. 
I am now duplicating Smokey two more times and I am turning her to a 90 degree angle and I'm going to actually slide her in that spot right above the um, soul food bookmark and then I'm going to do it again. So you'll see me doing it here. I'm going to turn those off or lock those layers so that I don't move them and I'm going to grab Smokey 5, slide her right there and then I'm going to duplicate her a second time and put it where that sky blue rectangle is. And y'all, I promise we're almost done. This is literally almost the end of this process. And then we're going to move on to laminating and cutting or vice versa. So here I am duplicating that last one. I'm holding shift and sliding that down. And of course, I'm going to adjust that where I want it to be and, you know, get it all ready for printing. And once this is finished, I literally just send it to my printer. I use a Canon Pixma G6020. It's an EcoTank printer and it's beautiful. I love it. Um, The last thing I did here was I grouped all of those different groups together and yeah, just made it easier to, um, to use and navigate. And now we are cutting. So I have a cutter that I got from Amazon. I will link all the information in the comments or in the description. And yeah, just cutting. Um, I don't think I have to show you guys in real time how to cut. You guys know how to cut. So I will speed this up so that y'all can actually just zoom through that. So it should be speeding up at any time now. I guess we're kind of speeding. Oh, here we go. So yeah, I'm just cutting all of my bookmarks. I'm cutting the white off because I left a small white space in between my bookmarks because I just don't want to make a mistake and, you know, cut too much off. So I'd rather have the white there as a safety guide. So here we are just cutting them all down and then I'm going to laminate them. So get that out of here. And now this is my laminator that I got from Walmart. It is nothing special. It is simply a nine inch thermal laminator. So we're going to plug that up and get to work. So while that heats up, these are the pouches that I use. I use laminating pouches from Amazon. And as you see, they open up like a little book. Boom. It comes with a lot in the box. I will link that information as well. So as that's heating up, I will go ahead and put my bookmarks inside of the laminating pouches. And all you have to do is open it up. And I just slide my bookmarks in there. I line them up so that I make sure that none will be touching or laminated too close together. Because that's very important. You don't want to put it in the laminator. And when you go to cut, you cut into another bookmark. So yeah, that's all I'm doing is just placing them where they're supposed to be. I went ahead and I sped this part up because you understand the point. I literally just put them in there, placed them where they need to be, and I get it ready to laminate. So I did those in stacks. Then I go ahead and I feed them through my laminator. I wish it went this fast in real life. It does not go this fast. This is sped up, but this laminator goes pretty slow. I put a book up under it just to label it, and then we're done. Get it up out of there. Once that's up out of there, then I grab my cutter. So I have two cutters. I like this cutter for this part of the project, and I got this from Michaels. Um, so I'm just using the gray part of the ruler thing as a guide, and I know that's where I want to cut um, my bookmark at and I just do that for all of the bookmarks I get them cut up and we're pretty much at the home stretch so just cut your book your bookmarks I can't even talk anyway I cut my bookmarks and that is it just keep watching and you will see the reveal of the bookmarks in a minute I'll be back And voila, we now have bookmarks. The design for the pink bookmarks are from an Etsy seller. The other ones are, of course, my artwork. You can check out my artwork on my website. All that will be in the description. And this is what the bookmark looks like now. Beautiful. Laminated bookmarks that last a good amount of time that will not rip and tear. You're welcome. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> 